Hello there YouTube, um, today I'll be showing you guys how I did the background for this picture. Um, I'm currently in the middle of creating the characters for this, um, just constructing the characters, but I felt the need to kind of finish the most of the work, which is the background for this gigantic picture, and I'll turn up the opacity just so you guys can see, um, and turn off the characters. Um, yeah, the characters are not done yet. But basically, I drew the entire nether, and this this may look like I've traced it down, but I did not trace it down. Actually, I'll show you the entire workflow I went through, and um, I created a little <coughs> file here where I um, basically sh uh, saved all of my steps, and um, I'll show you, like, I did the textures for this entire thing on a different layer. Uh, basically, what I started with... Um, is uh, these guides. I created guidelines, uh, basically like a grid I could use for the perspective. And um, uh, actually, let me show you the references I used for this because um, I did not actually trace this down and it's difficult for people to understand that. Um, <coughs> this is the main picture I used um, to create this picture. You can basically see the inspiration. This sort of region looks the same. If you can see that, uh, this sort of region looks the same, and I'll be adding more pigment in the background. Maybe even this, uh, what is this hacker? A uh, ghost. Uh, I'll, I'll be adding one of those maybe too, but I don't know if that'll make the picture too cluttered. But um, here's a few other references I used, basically just for inspiration, just to get the whole feel of the whole environment, um, just so I could imagine my, the, the whole scenario out. So um, what I did then is one of these. Uh, pictures is a sketch layer. I do believe it's uh, this one. Um, I turned the opacity down because I used it later. Um, <coughs> but I basically did here is I uh, sketched it out. Um, basically, I'll show you the video for all of this. And um, yeah, let's jump right into the video. But basically, these guide guidelines are I made them different colors so I could see um, the different perspective. This is basically sideways, up and down, and um, Basically, I don't know what they call it. All the way back there. Mm, it's not that way. <laughs> to the, the, there's basically like a the perspective point right there. So that's where everything would disappear if it were to go on forever. So basically, let's jump into the um, time lapse and I'll show you how I constructed this entire world. All right. Um, okay, so we're watching the time lapse now. Um, basically, here I am uh, kind of constructing the background. Um, starting with the basic shapes, you see that doesn't look very Minecraft, but um, um, I start out with the, the basic shapes, the, the giant shapes, um, and I'm keeping my my references to my right on my other screen and uh, basically just yeah looking at the basic shapes, um, mapping out those first, and then um, keeping keeping in mind my my perspective. Uh, lines. I might even do a tutorial on how I did those. That's actually a brush. I use a brush to, um, it's basically just a scatter brush. It looks like that, um, those blue lines. Um, and all you have to do is put it down and move it to the place where you want your perspective to be. And um, those those lines were, <coughs> excuse me, they were extremely helpful in the whole process because um, when, I, when, I, when I draw it out, it doesn't look that good. But when I started doing the lines, people um, started asking me if I, if I um, literally like traced it, traced down a real Minecraft world, and that's just because the perspective was so on point. And um, so yeah, I would recommend using uh, perspective lines. And you see me, I actually um, constructed the characters before the the background, but I decided to to tackle the background first because um, it was the most amount of work, and um, doing the characters will will take um, concentration as well, but. Not as much as this, um, drawing the background, it took a, a really long time because you have to keep in mind the whole, the guides and everything and um, yeah, keep looking at references and things and basically, yeah, just construct, be as creative as possible. Uh, you, you see me jumping into the lines and I bas I use the, the line tool that comes with, with uh, Photoshop and um, basically just went over my lines and I also, I made sure to correct myself when I went off the, the perspective lines. You might see me stray from my um, construction lines every now and then because I see it was off or something. Like there, I'm kind of like straying off because I see the perspective doesn't make sense. And um, one thing the perspective lines don't really help you with is um, 
size like um, you have to keep in mind that size changes uh, the further away the objects go and luckily I have some experience with that so I, I winged it but um, even though you wing it you just need to keep it in mind and correct your mistakes if you if you made mistakes um, so yeah the the line tool really helps and um, I haven't really used it much uh, previously but for this background it was it was perfect because um, if I had to redo each and every one of those lines because if you just, if you use um, your tablet and you have to you have to kind of swipe for the lines uh, you have to do it about two or three times every one so if I had to redo each and every one of these lines two or three times the process would have taken much longer so the yay for the um, line tool so that helped out a lot and um, don't be afraid to correct yourself if you made a mistake with the lines um, a lot of times I see myself make a, make a mistake and then I go back and correct it um, it's worthwhile in the end because um, it's it's worth the, it's worth the work it makes your, your, your art look good and um, so yeah a lot of this um, art this this background uh, I had to correct myself a lot <laughs> and um, the whole creative process of just f figuring it out um, it was a lot of good practice actually and uh, I can't say you might be able to do this on the first try but um, it's good to it's good to get some practice in drawing backgrounds when I was younger I used to draw a lot of um, blocky places and I got a lot of practice with um, um, uh, the perspective stuff so yeah, uh, here you see me starting the coloring. I basically for the background I, I threw down a basic red, a dark red, like a maroonish color, and then I just selected with the this line, um, this uh, line layer. I just went in and selected areas I wanted to color, and then I used um, an airbrush uh, brush for my brush, <laughs> airbrush brush for my brush. And uh, started coloring the basic areas, and um, here you see me constructing some glowstone because uh, I wanted to do the details really well. Um, later on, we'll do some textures in this, in the <coughs> on the flat layers, on the flat uh, areas, and um, I kind of cheat a little bit for those, but I'll I'll show you when we get there. So yeah, I basically constructed the basic lines for things like flames. I know the nether has lots of random flames everywhere and um, I'll be constructing the, the when I construct the characters I'll do some zombie pigment as well and maybe even a ghost those giant floating marshmallow things and um, yeah so you see I, I kind of finished the ba the dark areas when you look at the at the references of uh, pictures of the nether you'll see like the areas that are endless are just basically dark and um, Again, for the ceiling, the parts that um, kind of extrude are lighter than the parts that are just flat. They are dark. So yeah, doing um, some basic rendering um, and doing some lighter areas for the for the flames. All the parts that will be glowing because um, basically what I'm doing is I'm thinking about where light is coming from um, in this stage. Looking at light and keeping in in into account things like uh, lava and flames and where light is coming from um, basically creating these areas where the light would be for <coughs> glowstone and basically all these sources of light that come in the nether and I even did a, an area for the lava you can't really see the lava um, down there but I, I made sure that it would glow as to give the, the impression that there would be some lava so yeah, basic coloring and stuff. Um, we might be getting to the the, the textures pretty soon, but um, yeah, keep into account all of the light areas, and um, don't don't uh, take your time with this with this um, with this stage because it really gives your your painting character and it it makes it seem realistic when you look at all the the light areas. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I took my time with this stage. It it makes it look good. Every time I think I'm done, I'm like, okay, maybe let's do like three more steps or so. And it, it ended up looking really good. Okay, so then I did some textures. Um, I basically drew out a texture for the for these areas I wanted to give some texture to. And <coughs> I copied it a bunch of times. But um, 
The one thing I struggled with here is I, I usually use the transformation tool basically for Photoshop, like Control T and construct an area, but uh, that didn't work too well because it didn't fit with the with the perspective. So what I found out in, um, you'll see in a, in a few seconds, is you, you, you get a perspective filter in, here you, you see it, um, a perspective filter in Photoshop. So basically you fit it to the perspective of a picture. Um, basically Photoshoppers or professionals use it to um, Photoshop in um, pictures on walls to um, and and to correct the to, to have the correct perspective still so um, me having the the guidelines is perfect because uh, then Photoshop kind of calibrates to that um, perspective and I can just basically throw in my textures and it fits it to the correct areas and all that I have to do is just um, adjust some <coughs> excuse me I'm sick <coughs> Um, you just have to adjust some areas and all the areas that that didn't uh, that were smaller I could do myself that um, that I could think the think out the um, textures myself like think think about the perspective myself I'm, I'm pretty good at that myself but um, fitting it precisely like Photoshop can do is is a great help so this I'll might, I might I might even do a, a tutorial on the perspective filter in Photoshop in the future it, it really helps a great deal for these um, details and um, it might feel to me it feels a bit like I'm cheating when I when I utilize Photoshop's things but I and then I remember you know I might as well use it because it's Photoshop so I might as well use the parts that I can to construct the right to, to correct myself and uh, that's basically what I'm doing with a tablet as well I'm using technology to correct myself um, because in real life you wouldn't have something like control Z or anything like that and um, I did some final touch-ups with the textures I still have to do some textures um, it's not really necessary I think I might continue with that after con after doing the all of the characters because um, the characters might be covering so certain parts and I don't want to do all the work and cover it again so yeah <coughs> Excuse me. I'll, so I'll just finish all of the characters and then um, I might continue with the textures. But uh, yeah, and this 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 technique works very well. So I might even uh, show you guys how to do it. And for the lava textures, I just used the brush. I basically went over it with a brush, and uh, it has that kind of repeating texture thing. So I just went over it. It it fitted perfectly, and. Um, did the small details myself with the textures and uh, yeah um, might even do some more shading in the back uh, but the basic idea is there and I hope you guys learned something because I, I would have killed for this um, back in the day this this technique if someone taught me it I would have I would have died <laughs> I would have been so happy so yeah this is basically the whole thing did some textures for the flames and then you see the final product um, yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or, th or thing or two. Sorry, and um, I sure sure did in this whole process. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed uh, this this whole process thing, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. And uh, hopefully, we'll see the characters next. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.